Hi guys, it's Marina from Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. Thank you for joining me for another pretty big portion of an enormous Dollar Tree haul. This is part two of my haul and it's still huge. I hope to get through it um, in under an hour. If not, then I'm going to have to separate it again. I, it was a really huge haul, guys. Um, so I'm just going to basically finish off the few food items that I forgot actually to haul the other day. Um, I did pick up eight bottles of this in pumpkin spice. And what I will say about this um, is that I can't handle strong coffee anymore. It really hurts my stomach. So um, this is not strong coffee. It is the most watered down coffee you could ever imagine. But it's coffee and sometimes I just really want coffee in the afternoon or night. And if I have two cups of coffee, it's over for me. So I can have like a decent cup of coffee in the morning, but if I wanna have a second cup of coffee, it has to be weak coffee like this. So I'm happy to get it. And I bought a few, you know, like I said, a bunch of them, but I really actually like their raspberry mocha. Um, when I feel like having a nice coffee in the afternoon, it's very weak, it doesn't make me crazy. And uh, I really enjoy it when I just want coffee. So I did pick up a bunch of these and I'm gonna check it out and let you guys know if I liked it or not. But um, it's pumpkin spice and maybe it's great. We'll see. Um, one of the next items that I picked up that I only found one of and I was kind of upset. It's a little bit mangled, but it's still good. Sometimes they carry this. Whenever they get it, I try to buy as much of it as possible because it actually is one of the few um, I just want to make sure that before I say it, they haven't changed it, but there is no soy in this, uh, there's no soy in this. So I do kind of have a massive allergy to soy that I refuse to acknowledge, but I try to avoid soy and soy is in everything. And this has no MSG, it's gluten-free, no artificial flavors, and no soy either. So whenever I see this, I grab it. It's actually pretty expensive in the store and it's almost always sold out. Anywhere I see it, I get it. But for a dollar, I would grab it all day long. But I only got one and I was very upset. But I'm happy I got one. Um, the next item that I picked up that was food related is candy. I bought a lot of candy. Um, they have these really exciting, and I bought it for the shelter. So I'm going to pile it up and then put it back in. I bought a bunch of these um, really cool Halloween candy bracelets. It's a 10 pack and they have like skulls and blue and gray. Um, it's like blue and gray bracelets. So, you know, even a boy might like it. And it has like a skull charm hanging off of it. But they're really cool and the kids are gonna love it. So I bought about 50 of those, not 50 bags, 50 bracelets all together. Um, I bought three bags of this candy sticks because of all the superheroes that are in there. Um, it's really cute. It has, um, yeah, can you see that? Superman, I'm trying to see what else, but. Hmm. I guess it just has Batman and Superman. Well, that's not a just. That's still, it's very cute packaging. Oh yeah, duh, Batman, Superman. Okay. I thought it was like Spider-Man and all the rest of them, but either way, um, it's DC and WB. It's not a Greenbrier product. All right, well, I mean, stick candy is kind of like gross, but the packaging is what what sold me. I bought two packages of this and it's nut free and gluten free. So, you know, you have to, when you're giving things out to a lot of kids, you have to have things that are also nut free just in case. Um, I bought a ton of these. I think I bought 12 of these because there's only four in each one, but kids are going to go crazy over these. It says, dress up as your favorite monster, blue raspberry lollipops, spooky selfies, four mini pops individually wrapped, lip pops. And I think that that is going to be so much fun. So much fun that they could have with their, you know, phones and their parents. 
and eat the lollipops at home. Hopefully, you know, not take off their masks while they're out and about. But, you know, people will do whatever they have to do. They're responsible. But because I was like, I don't know about this. They would have to take off their masks. But they can use them inside their homes. Well, inside their rooms. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, just, I love them. I just love them. And whatever they do with them, they're going to do with them. I did pick up, honestly, I picked these up for the shelter, but I sort of ate a pa like a piece and I'm keeping a bag for myself. I bought six bags of these and then I realized there was only, it feels like there's so much in here, but each one only has 12 pieces in it. And then I opened one and then my husband had one and we were like, these are delicious. Um, they are delicious. They are Cowtails Mini Caramel Apple, artificially flavored. And it does say peanut free, creamy caramel with a tart apple flavored cream center. But then, like after I ate them and I was like, oh my God, this is the most delicious thing ever. I realized that it says in tiny, teeny, itsy bitsy print, something that really, when I see it, it really bothers me. But first of all, it does have soy in it. So it did make me itchy. I'm not going to lie. Because I am allergic to soy, but it doesn't kill me. I just get super itchy. And, um, but besides that, it says, what did it say that was so disturbing? Oh my God, why can't I find it now? I know I didn't make it up. Oh yeah, it says, contains bioengineered food ingredient. I don't know if you guys could actually make that out. Um, so when I saw that contains bioengineered food product, I kind of was like, mm, I'm sort of sorry that I ate it. But I, I, I'm not going to lie. I mean, so many of the foods that we eat are genetically mutated and they don't label it. I kind of respect them for having it even in the fine print, but... It was kind of a turn off, but they are really good. And, you know, it is what it is. It's candy. Um, I did buy three bags of these because I like love putting them into my own trail mix, which is my new favorite thing to do. Like I buy almonds and papaya and all kinds of dried fruit, cut it up, uh, the pineapple dried and just all kinds of trail mix kind of stuff. And I throw some of these in there and, um, I just love it. And raisins. I just, I love making my own trail mix, but really it's like incentive to eat the trail mix so you can find these in there. And I picked up three bags uh, in case anyone has never seen me haul them. They're 3.25 ounces. They're only a dollar, obviously a Dollar Tree, but a bag this size at my supermarket is $2.99. So it's a really good deal. And I, and they're made with real milk chocolate. I love them. Um, that's going to be it for the food-related items. The Oh, no, it isn't, actually. <laughs> now, this is not... I don't know if this is a great deal or not, but husband loves these, and the few times that he has come with me to Dollar Tree, this is one of the items that he puts in the cart of all the strangest things in the world, but he just loves a good dill pickle, and so I picked up two of them because I saw them. These are Van Holten's Dill Pickles, Hearty dill flavor, uh, just a pickle for a dollar. Um, I don't know if that's good, bad, whatever, but he loves them, and I picked up two of them. The, uh, and that concludes the food from this haul. The next items that I picked up, I would like to say that I've never even given them a second glance, but... I did watch Keto Twisted Gypsy um, the other day talk about this fragrance, Fantasy by Britney Spears, uh, Leisure de Men. Mm, I guess it's French. Le Le Leisure de Men. I actually took French, so that is what it is. But uh, I don't know if that means fantasy, though. Hmm. 
whatever. The name of the perfume in American is Fantasy, and the knockoff version is called Leisure de Men. I don't know if it's all of them are like translated in another language or whatever. It doesn't matter. They are basically the 90s version of if you like Giorgio, you'll love Primo because that's all I ever remember of that. But um, she said that she loved it and she was so um, convincing that when I saw these in the store, I was like, you know what? She shops a lot and can buy herself anything that she wants. So if she likes that fragrance enough to go out of her way to buy it for herself, then other people will like them too. So maybe they'll make a good um, addition to the baskets that I make for the women. Um, so they're like designer imposters, basically. I've honestly never given them a second look. Never, ever, ever. But um, I also did like the packaging on this one. Like she said, it's very pretty packaging. And you get 2.5 fluent ounces. I mean, it's a giant bottle. I I don't love fruity, like, perfume, but it is like a young type fragrance. Um, and I don't know what fantasy actually smells like, but I trust her that it's a good scent. But I will say that um, I picked up a lot of them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys them. And for the ones that I know what they're supposed to smell like, I'm going to spray them and see if they smell like that. Um... Now, this one is called, uh, compared to version Amour Amour by Cacharel. New and improved. Okay, so I guess the next one, the name of the perfume is Amour Amour by Cacharel. Um, I don't know what that perfume is, but... It smells very good, actually. Whatever this fragrance is, I don't know if in real life it smells like this, but Amor Amor, the Pour La, Pour Ma, Pour Ma Belle version. <laughs> P -O, Pour Ma Belle. It doesn't say La Belle. It says Ma Belle. And I don't remember that being French, but I could be wrong. It's been quite a few decades since I was in college, but, um, it smells good for a dollar. I will say this, this is what sold me, but I don't know. The boxes are different. I'm very confused about this whole designer imposter thing, but I picked up one, two, three, four, five, six, nine of them. That's nine gifts that I can add into a basket full of other goodies. And if they hate it, they could use it as bathroom spray. Um, because that's what I do. When someone gives me perfume that I don't like, I just use it in my bathroom. I mean, that's a good idea, right? Or they could throw it away. Whatever. I mean, I, I can only do what I could do, right? Um, but this is what sold me. First of all, how she said she loved that fragrance so much made me consider it. And then I saw this, number 16, our version of Chanel number no. 5 for women by Chanel. And this one, um, these, they actually on the bottle don't have a name. They just have a number and they don't say what they're Im impostering. But um, this actually smells a significant amount like Chanel number no. five. Uh, I actually like Chanel number no. five, which I know is kind of weird because most people like the newer versions of Chanel, but I like Hermes. Um, fragrances. I like very strong incense patchouli, sandalwoody type of fragrances. This fragrance smells good. It actually smells like Chanel number no. 5. I'm shocked. I'm honestly shocked. <laughs> I'm almost, I don't know. I would never have thought to buy them, but I was influenced by how convincing Keto Gypsy was 
and she sold me. She sold me on it. But then, when in the store, I took a little whiff of the Chanel Number no. Five, and then in the car, I took a whiff of this one. Now, I don't love this perfume. It's beautiful by Estee Lauder, but I know what it smells like because I used to work in a fragrance counter for a little while and believe me I smelled this many times it really smells like it I don't know how long it lasts but if you like beautiful by Estee Lauder I would kind of assume that it wouldn't be a bad idea to buy this and even layer it with your fragrance like put on your lotion put on your deodorant Put some of this beautiful, fake beautiful on, and then put your real beautiful on so you have layers of fragrance. And that still smells like Chanel number no. five. And I'm putting them on top of it so I can smell them at the end. That really does smell like beautiful by Estee Lauder. Um, the next one that I checked out was it's. It's called Lovely Lady. That's the EAD name for Lolita Lempica. And I have smelled this like once or twice. I don't know if I'm going to remember what it smells like. I don't like it. I'll be honest, I don't like it. It smells... I don't like it. It smells like air freshener. I don't know, but... Somebody out there may like it. I don't know. I probably don't like the real fragrance either, but I don't know for sure. And then I did buy this one because I do remember a long, long time ago that some of my girlfriends wore Anais Nin. Oh, no, it's no, that's the writer. <laughs> Never mind. Um, no, this is Anais Anais. Um, It's a very old fragrance. I guess the little bottles are like knockoffs of kind of like really old, old fragrances. I don't even know if they still make them, but Anais, Anais, this actually does smell kind of like it. It doesn't smell bad. It, I didn't wear it. It's not my thing, but it smells kind of like it. It's floral and just like the box. It's very pink. It's like a pink fragrance. I don't know how else to describe it. It doesn't have any purple or depth to it. It's very pink and happy. Um, now this one, I definitely know that um, one of my girlfriends still to this day loves her John Paul Gaultier. So I know what that smells like because I know how she always smells. And it's like her signature scent. I'm going to take a whiff of this and instantly be able to know if these are really good knockoffs. Not, not really bad. It's not as str like, wow, that's, that's not bad. Um, it's close. John Paul Gaultier. Um, and even the package is kind of nice on this one too. It's got like the corset cause that's the corset bottle. Um, it's their version of classique, um, by John ba Paul Gaultier. Um, I actually got two of those because I'm going to give her one just in case she likes it for a buck. I mean, her perfume is very expensive and uh, if she likes it for a dollar, why not? Um, the next fragrance knockoff is an Ed Hardy fragrance. Ed Hardy um, called Hot Thrills. That's what they call it. Oh, the regular Ed Hardy. Oh, it's just the regular Ed Hardy. I was thinking that it was some other Ed Hardy. Let's see. I remember what that smells like. That was really popular about 10 years ago. <laughs> I didn't like it then, but it smells just like it. I didn't like it, but it's literally exactly like the Ed Hardy fragrance. Wow, that's crazy. And last but not least, 
I bought the knockoff version of Carolina Herrera, which uh, their name for it is called Token of Love. I actually really liked that when I was much younger. Um, it's not my typical kind of smell, but I actually really liked it. So let's see. There's so much smell in my air right now, though. Not really. It it has some of the... It reminds me of Carolina Herrera, but it doesn't have the depth that Carolina Herrera had a really nice depth to it that this this it's similar I mean it smells nice though I will have to say that that one smells nice um I like it and I like the Chanel which it's funny because those are two fragrances that I actually like in the real world so in the fake designer imposter world their version is sort of close and um you know what? I think that people will like these. I picked them up as extra little gifts because you never know how many people you're going to end up having to give stuff to at the events. And um, if someone who leaves their home and doesn't have anything, you know, for a little while at least, they can enjoy using one of these fragrances until they can get back on their feet and get not designer imposters fragrance. So I think I'm glad that I picked those up and it was a great idea and I'm really happy that uh, I was sold on it on YouTube. I, I have so much smell going on right now. The next items, some of the next items, some of the next items that I picked up are health and beauty aids. I picked up, nope, this is not health and beauty aid. It's melatonin. Um, since my son has like basically not been asleep since the pandemic started early in the day, I decided that I would give him some melatonin to get him to go to bed on a regular schedule. Um, because he needs to get back on track since school is virtual and the world has just gone crazy. But the next items that I picked up, one of which was this cool two pack of Maybelline um, nail polish because one of the nail polishes is called graffiti or something like that and it has some kind of really cool stuff going on in it. I don't know, but we're going to find out. I absolutely love it, and I think that this would make an absolutely awesome manicure. It's called Street Art, and it's like black and white. I keep. It's called Street Art, and this color... is just so cool. It is like black and white speckled. We're going to test that out on something. And the, the speckly nail polish is called Pink Splatter. I don't know why it's called Pink Splatter because it's not pink at all. But actually, these little pieces of stuff that are in it come out really, oh my God, it's so nice. That will look so cool on top of like a white nail polish with all red nails. So this is a really cool manicure selection. Like you just do one nail or two, whatever, however you want to do it with the black and white. And then do the rest red. And that's just so cool. And this red is like, it says an old flame. Now that is a great name for it. Because I was going to say that it's just a perfect old fashioned classic red. And I love, love, love this. Love these colors. Um, the next items that I picked up, I did get a bunch of nail polish. Because when you see really great nail polishes, you can't help but pick them up. 
these are by Sinful Colors, and they are very awesome. I was like, oh, I'm all over that, because I love things that have sparkle in them. But this one is like a nude, almost like to do French manicure type of color. That's going in the gift bag. The name of that color is Just Desserts. Definitely not my thing, but someone is going to love it. And it has, it has, it's called Limited Time Stoned Crystal Shimmer. Hmm, I wonder what that's about. Okay, I'm going to test it also. Wow. I wish I had something better to test it on. Okay. Wow, that's a really, really pretty color. It is crystally. Oh, my nail polish actually is chipped and you could see that now. Um, it's like really nice, actually. It's a very nice color for someone that likes something a little more subtle. <laughs> that's not me. Um, and then this one is called Limited Time Moon Metal. Now this is my kind of nail polish and it's clearly why I bought the two pack and I will definitely be putting it on for sure if the glitter, oh my God, I love this polish. I am in love with it for when I have navy blue polish on. It is really gorgeous. So, yeah, that one is called Pop Queen. <laughs> I love nail polish names. I could read nail polish and lipstick names the rest of my life and never, ever be not amused by it. Um, the next, and they have to just always come up with more and more of them. That's the amazing part of it. The, uh, the next item that I picked up is another one of these. And... Um, these are really beautiful, too. I just, I couldn't leave them behind. I mean, I'm not going to keep all of them. I'm definitely going to keep the red one and the black and white. I might, but I did, I did get a lot. I got, like, multiples of the same colors because I know that I will give them away, but I probably self, I can't help it. I love nail polish colors. Now, this one is gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. You could wear this with black nail polish for like New Year's. It's such a gorgeous color. I love it. And we'll swatch that one as well. Wow. It's like, I don't know, like a piece of jewelry. That's what it reminds me of. It's really beautiful. It would look really great. It's just, it would be a nice like wedding day color nail polish even. Um, anyway, the name of that is Spiked Cider. Okay, it's a good name. And the last one is, I mean, I might not even keep that honestly because it's not necessarily my style, but I love it. I, it's a beautiful color. This one I love. This one is called, I think that's so funny because all of the ones that I liked were moon metal colors. So that's kind of funny. Um, this one is like a sparkle top coat that you could just basically use if you want to have nothing on your nails or just add glittery. It looks like it has like a bit of color, but it's basically just a hint of like a teeny tinge of beige with glitter in it and it's called out with a bang it's really nice too so i bought multiples of the same packs one of the next items that i found was this uh quick dry by um diamond now i think that this is not a green briar product 
Diamond Cosmetics made in China, super dry. So dries polish to a high gloss shine. And it's quick dry. Basically, it's quick dry. You know, you pay extra for that when you're allowed to get a regular mani-pedi at a salon. So I've never seen that at Dollar Tree. Correct me if other people have, but I've never seen it. And it's not a Green Buyer product. And I picked it up. I think I picked up six bottles of that. But I didn't take all of it. I did find a bunch of these. And I picked up one more because I absolutely love them for eyebrow brushes even though they call it um, a concealer brush, it's a precision angled, great for your eyebrows brush. I love it. I just absolutely love it. Um, some of the great, awesome makeup that I found, I'm wearing actually today as my eyeliner, this, what's supposed to be, uh, it's called Stellar Sand by Maybelline. Um, and it's supposed to be like a gold eyeliner. But it's not. It's basically like khaki green. I will swatch that for you as well. What can I swatch that on? And I put like four layers of it on. It's very light. I mean, as an eyeliner on me, I'm okay with it because, you know, what did I really do? Nothing. I'm just wearing it to show you guys what the color looks like. But if you really want gold eyeliner, you don't want this. Um, I did get three of them. I'm going to keep them because it is waterproof and who knows? I mean, I'm going to gift them. People might be able to use them. They do make like a sparkly kind of, I mean, I'm wearing it right now. I obviously have eyeliner on, but it's not gold. It's like a, like a brown. When you put a bunch of it on, it's almost like you're wearing like a brown eyeliner. So if you need a brown eyeliner... And you find it, go ahead and get it. Because it's not gold and it's not it's not too glitzy at all. It's not what you think it is. Uh, items that I picked up a few of were step two of gel polish. Now, um, gel polish requires a LED lamp to dry, which I actually have. And uh, I picked up three because it's such a gorgeous teal color and next item that I found is one of the Drew Barrymore blushes that people have been hauling I did haul a Drew Barrymore item so long ago and had no idea what it was but I was like whatever this is it's good I seem to remember flower being something and I didn't even remember that it was by Drew Barrymore when I was hauling it and then since then I really haven't found anything and I've been so devastated and then I hit pay dirt mother load um, jackpot at Dollar Tree today because I have they had a ton of these at my Dollar Tree and I got 10 of them but I left like 30 behind and I got like 10 of these and I left like 30 behind as well and I'm going to be giving these for sure in the in the gift bags to the women because this is a kind of blush color that just about anybody can wear it's a really neutral beautiful blush color um and the name of it, which I love because I love everything about Drew Barrymore. She's such a delightful human being. Um, it says, the name of this one is called Winsome Rouge Some. She's so cute. Anyhow, um, and it says uh, Primrose and Proper. I don't know if that's all the name of it, but it's Winsome Rouge Some. Cream blush, primrose, and proper. So she's so cool that she gives her blush like three names. But um, I don't know if they have other ones. I, I'm not sure. I haven't. I, I just am so excited that I found these. And I think that they're a really great color. The actual packaging is gorgeous. Swatch it because I just really want to see what it's like. And I'm definitely keeping one. 
it's really hard to open actually. <laughs> Okay. All right. Wow. It's just a very nice neutral color cream blush. It's really beautiful. And the next one that I had found was, um, so that is, that's a cream blush and it has the applicator, but I gotta be honest, I would never, ever, ever in a million years use this applicator. Um, I would probably use that foundation thing that everybody's been hauling by the air cushion foundation thing to use for a cream blush. This is like a very strange applicator. I don't like that, but that's okay. Now this cream blush does not come with a weird little app applicator and it's called, okay. So I guess maybe all of her blushes are called win some rouge some cream blush and then the name of this color is called forget me not but i actually like this one even better so that's that one it's very nice it has like a little bit of shimmer to it sort of like a highlighter i love it and that's the first one and this is the second one it's really nice natural oh the light is just so bad but it's like a highlight almost it's definitely a really nice you could tell the like texture is beautiful could also use it as an eyeshadow i like to use whatever color i feel like wherever i want to if the product is made of good stuff you can put it anywhere on your face but um yeah i definitely was happy to find those i felt like i hit the lottery because those are gonna make nice gifts for sure. I'm going to get this one open and we can test it out as well. Forget me not. Oops. It should say drop me not because I almost did. All right. I really can't even figure out how to open it. All right. Phew. Um, so when I found this, I was kind of shocked at how little it is. I don't know why, but somehow when everyone's hauling things, they just seem enormous. But this is really little. It's like little, 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 little. But it does seal really well. And I think I'm going to keep my ginger in it. It is, it's basically, it is like a ginger jar. Um, it does have a nice seal. I'm going to keep my ginger in it. And I'm psyched that I found it because it's so cute with the cactuses. I did take a tiny video of the other ones um there's like a rooster there's one that says love and there's one other one but i didn't love the colors of the other ones and i'm not really into like i'm not super farmhousey so they weren't for me but i love the cactus and it matches my kitchen kind of color theme so i think it'll be cute to keep my ginger in it because even though it's a cactus it sort of reminds me of ginger the, the print reminds me of ginger. So the next items that I found, I've seen, I think a couple people hold them, but I was like, ah, eh, what's so special about those? But then in real life, oh my God, they're so nice. Are these cute, beautiful jars. I love them. They come in pink also. I, I don't like pink. It's not my thing. But I just, I love these. They're sort of 80s, sort of anthropology now. They're, they're very anthropology. I could see this in anthropology. All day long, Urban Outfitters. It's just so cute. I literally love them. I bought three of them. I don't know what in the world I'm going to be doing with them. But 
I love them. I bought three of them and they're going to go. I like things in threes. They're going, I think, above my bed. I have like a little shelf. I'm going to put them there. I don't know, but I, I really like them. I think they're super, super cute. They would make a nice gift. You could put some clips or lip, anything. They're very cute. A piece of jewelry in there and give it to them. The jar itself is super cute. Can't believe it's a dollar. I can't believe that costs a dollar. Um, the next item that I found, there's actually no order, I realized, to my haul. I thought I had organized it, but it was just too much. I didn't. Um, the next item that I picked up is this, and I've seen other people haul it, and I actually did not realize how big it is. It's Unless they made these bigger, then I've seen other people haul them, unless they come in two sizes. This is pretty big compared to, like, this jar. Like, it's a good size. And you can hang it on, like, a pretty chain or, like, a broken necklace. I only found one. I want to find, like, four of them and find, like, a bunch of broken necklaces and hang them from a window and put plants in them. But I want, like, broken necklaces so that they have, like, cool, like, jewelry-type situation going on. But... They're plastic, so I'm not going to break them, which is very exciting because I did get a glass one a long time ago from the Dollar Tree that I remember being a lot smaller, and I broke it. And then as the plant grows, you can, like, put it out through this hole, and it could just... Oh, I'm so excited. I have to find more of these. I need three of them. I need two more because, like I said, I like things in threes. Um, oh, I did pick this up, and I definitely took a picture of... The other colors, they have like a whole bunch of glows in black light nail polish colors, but I love fluorescent orange nail polish and I didn't have any and currently my toes are polished this color, but um, I didn't have any more. So I needed that and I'm so glad that I got it. The, um, oh, and that's by, it's uh, LA Color, so it's Greenbrier. I really love LA Colors nail polishes. I always say that. I love their nail polishes. They work great for me. Um, I picked up a huge stack of wall art letters because I've been doing a whole bunch of little DIY projects. Super easy. And I have the handwriting of an alien. So I don't try to do handwriting in like DIYs. I'm not a cricket type of person because that seems very complicated. And I don't think I have the patience to learn how to use it. So... I rely on the kindness of the Dollar Tree wall art letters to get by. So I bought every kind of letter that they had. These are amazing because I did do a DIY with the cute little wooden houses that I hauled recently that everyone hauled like three months ago. But I got finally lucky enough to get them and I wrote the word dream on them. And they're gorgeous because I'm giving them to... a uh, girlfriend's baby that I have uh I that I have uh, a desire to give a gift to but um I just can't say enough about these so I bought two packs in case um I find a child that might want to put this as a border in their room they could just put the whole alphabet on their wall and I have what's left over from dream in case it could spell out another kid's name but I just I bought two of these and I feel like they're priceless the whole alphabet with with animals for a dollar that's like a great little deal if they actually only had to I would have bought a lot of those because those are great for moms moving into homes making their kids room special I just love that but I only found two and here is the footage of what I created with these cute animal uh, letters and the and adorable this one was wooden damaged, boxes but I bought it that anyway, I just think are so one of these letters. I kind of like this font. It's pretty no nonsense and whatever it is, it is. But I like it. I always pick that up when I see it. I did buy these to do my uh, DIY with. I hold these already. But um, like I said, the word that I was spelling had the same color back to back, and that was a big turnoff for me. So I didn't end up using those. Um, in the DIY where I wanted to spell out dream and then um, I thought about buying these 
I thought about um, using these because the the letters would have not um, been uh, consecutively the same color because I'm OCD that way, but they didn't match those boxes. But I bought them anyway because they're super cute colors and super cute letters. And who knows what I'm going to want to do next. And I did notice that the Y is nice and the O is nice. And the, wait, where was the other one? I think it was J that I was looking at. Oh yeah, the J is red and the Y is green and you don't even need the O. So you could do some sort of a Christmassy DIY with that one with this pack right here of colors because they're the perfect colors for Christmas. So you never know. I had to buy that. Um, then, oh, is this, oh no, this is a different one. Oh, I bought two of these. I didn't even realize I bought a damaged one and it was attached to a good one, but I'm sure I paid for them. I don't realize what I do these things, but believe me, they do. And, um, I picked up these because these are super fun for a kid's room. Also some kind of a DIY. I don't, you never know what you're going to find. And I like these letters. I can personalize something with that. And these I'm going to be using in a DIY that I'm doing. Um, cause I like the rainbow effect and I think that, I think it's going to be really cute. So yeah, I bought all of those letters for my stash because my handwriting is awful, but I have good intentions. So got to find alternative ways. And the next items, uh oh, where is the other one? Hmm. So along the lines of my bunch of letter purchases for my stash, um, I bought these in the Crafter Square. It says wood palette, but it's not um, square, it's rectangular. And um, I do have an idea that I want to see if I can pull off because I think it's going to be really a cute little DIY that many, many families right now could um, probably use in their homes. So uh, please be sure to keep your eyes open for my DIY video that I'm going to, I have like four DIYs coming. One of them is going to be a compilation of little things that I kind of just upcycled, but I think this one's going to be really fun. So I did get these two uh, rectangular wood palettes and one of these, which I'm not sure I may, or, I think I am going to add it to it somehow. I don't know. We'll see, but I've got an idea and I bought this to go along with it these magnetic clips um yeah i'm excited very excited about that little craft and i did pick up one of these craft storage boxes because i bought one the other day in the automotive section but uh i filled it up with stud earrings so i, I found these in the crafter storage box section so they're like basically the same thing just little boxes that you could put stud earrings in or little earrings and um this comes, I think, in blue and pink or red, but I just picked up red. And I did pick up a pack of these. I've seen a bunch of people haul them. I've never um, actually, I've never even considered buying them, but I did get a haircut not too long ago, and I kind of need clips sometimes, so I, they might be a little kind of ridiculous for me. But I did pick them up. And I'll play around with them because they are really pretty. Maybe like for a special occasion. I don't know. I don't really go anywhere. But we'll see. I picked them up because I just kind of feel like I could use a clip in my hair sometimes. And I'm not sure how to put it in. Um, what? Where do I go next? Oh, I got some really awesome dog stuff today. I've never seen this at um, Dollar Tree ever and my dog, although she loves to chew everything up, this is a Greenbrier product. Um, the regular tennis ball is just too big for her mouth. 
And this is like a great uh, gradual, it's a, uh, trying to open it. See that? It's like got step. Oh, she's going to eat that in a heartbeat. I thought it was like a real tennis ball. It's got like felt over it. Well, I'm going to end up keeping track of how many days it takes for my dog to destroy this ball because I can already feel the parts in it that are separate. But I did think it was a brilliant idea because she could bite this side and I could hold the other side because she doesn't like to let go and she plays tug of war. And uh, that's her favorite thing to do. But um, I don't think it'll last very long. I'll keep you guys posted on that. I did buy a second one. And at this point, actually, because I have bought so many Dollar Tree toys that she destroys within 10 minutes of me giving them to her. Honestly, if she destroys this one before the end of the day that I give it to her, I'm going to exchange this one because I just, sometimes I love, the, like I love Dollar Tree. I love Dollar Tree, but sometimes some things, they're just no good. And I have a funny feeling this may be one of them, but we'll see. Now this, I think will last her forever. I was really excited about that. I was. Oh, well. Um, I thought it was like an actual tennis ball, but it's not. Now, this, she will never kill this. This is a great, awesome find. They only had one. I've never seen it before. If you guys have seen this dog toy before, please let me know because I don't know why I've never seen it before, but I love it. Like, she's going to love this. She drives us crazy all day long with her ball and her chew toy and tug of war and but the piece de resistance, like I like to always say, um, like my designer imposter uh, advertisement of perfume, the piece de resistance in French, is this hyper pet that I've seen so many people hold. And this one was like underneath everything. And I don't know if it's even supposed to make noise or anything. Oh, man. I was going to say, I'm so happy that it doesn't. And uh, I hope that it's strong. I, I know that some haulers actually said that their dog did not rip it up instantly which made me kind of really want it it said it's multi-textured and floats for training and exercise fun great for all size dogs and my dog absolutely loves going in the pool but she's too crazy to play with something like this in the pool she just gets too crazy but um i'm curious to see how long it takes her to rip this up it seems to be made kind of better than the Dollar Tree bones. The Dollar Tree bones that they sell, I give them to her. And before I get like a second to turn around and empty the rest of the bag that I'm emptying out, she's already ruined it. And once she gets that stuff out, I the inside out, I have to throw it away because she'll eat it. She chews it and it uh, just, it doesn't come out great. It's a nightmare. So yeah. I hope that this one lasts. I'll keep you guys posted and I'll take video. And um, I picked up two of these because she will not be able to ruin these. I could tell you that right now. Therefore, um, it says extra small. Um, I mean, she's not, she's a big old Boston Terrier. She was the runt of the litter and she superseded all of her siblings. That's for sure. But this is a brand name. It's from Cosmic Pet and... Uh, I love it. It has um, all natural uh, water buffalo bone, which looks like it's been like cleaned by at, like a science lab. Like I've never seen a cleaner looking bone in my whole life. So this is just a really cool, cool dog toy that I had to get two of because when you see something like this at Dollar Tree, you'll never ever see it again. And, uh, she loves these. She doesn't ever ruin them. I end up throwing them away when she's not looking once they get really nasty. So I did get her a second one because she mourns the loss. Uh, item that I found, I have seen a lot of people haul and I never thought that I was ever going to see it in real life. It was going to be one of those mythical like Dollar Tree things that everybody has like all the time, but I've never seen it. And then I walked in today and there was like a full display of every number and I picked up a couple for um, some upcoming parties that I know of, birthdays, that, um, 
you know, hopefully we'll be able to, even if it's on a Zoom call, you know, say happy, whatever. It's nice to have the numbers. So I picked up a seven and a six. And for anybody out there that doesn't know what it is, it's by, I don't, so it's not a Dollar Tree product. It's by a company called Kaleidoscope Brands, made in Mexico. And it's like a Mylar number that you tuck this balloon, this, um, you know, straw into and you blow it up and it inflates. And then it's air filled balloon. It's really amazing. 14 inch for a dollar. This is a great deal. I wanted to buy every number, but I stopped myself. I did get a box of acetaminophen 40 caplets. Always a great deal for a dollar. Um, and I bought this awesome book called Modern Prairie Sewing. Because if you guys have been following me, you know that I am secretly obsessed with learning how to sew. And uh, it says, be inspired by the bright modern designs of popular pattern maker and blogger Abigail Long of... Marie Madeline Studio. All 20 projects are simple enough for beginners. It's as easy as one, two, three. Simple follow a pattern, learn to sew, and have a lot of fun making bags, skirts, scarves, quilts, and so much more. Now, it does have patterns in the back, which is pretty amazing. And um, it's like quilted... I just, when I see something like this, I just get insanely happy. Like, this right here is my aesthetic. That's all I know. And I just would be off, off the hook happy if I could learn how to do any of this. But um, I am going to be getting a sewing machine for Christmas. So, who knows? Maybe this can help me. It's nice that it has the pattern in here. So maybe I'll find it useful. But for a buck, it's good to look at and get a better understanding of, you know, what's in store. Uh, one of the next items that I picked up that is amazing are these very cool toys. Um, I mean, in the toy section... Well, they're slime. They're by Orb. I've been hauling and finding a lot of Orb products, but they're not Greenbrier. They're very cool. They're expensive online. These are like six bucks on Amazon. Um, and I think when I Googled them, they're for sale at Walmart also, but I think they're sold out. But it says natural and safe. They're called Orb Slimy Furt. Furt. So I guess they're like saying fart. I'm not sure. The noise making slime. I mean, kids are going to love it. It's plain and simple. It's a toilet that has slime in it. That right there is a winner, winner, winner. I'm probably going to bring these. I bought, um, actually got 20 of them. They had a lot of them and I bought 20 of them. So I'm probably going to give these... To the lady at the shelter maybe they should give these out for trick-or-treat i don't know but i mean they're not you know they're not very christmasy they are nice for stocking stuffers now ah, maybe i'll hold on to them for stocking stuffers bag right here is one of my absolute favorite things in the whole world and i got it last year on clearance at bed bath and beyond for for clearance five bucks it doesn't have the sequence on the other side. It's like a beach bag. It's lined. You take it. You can put your food in it. But I just, I love to take it to Dollar Tree. It is my, uh, I swear I'm only going to buy one bag of things at the Dollar Tree. And then I end up leaving with this bag and like 10 more. Um, so I hit pay dirt. I got these gorgeous chargers that I've really wanted and I'm so excited about them. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I got four because I know that I'm going to make gift baskets that have a lot of Buffalo check stuff in them along with other things, but I didn't want to take them all, but I did get four and I regret not getting eight because I feel like I would like to embellish a couple with some sort of holiday stickers or something like the word joy or something. I just, 
I like doing that on plates. Um, I did get a few of these for the gift baskets that I'm going to make. Uh, these are the dish drying mats and they're awesome. And this print is beautiful and it will make a great house warming gift or a Christmas house gift or, you know, I can ship it out to people that I may not be able to see for the holidays. Who knows what's going on? But I think that they make really lovely gifts. They're not very heavy. It won't cost a lot to ship. And I did buy quite a few of everything because I'm going to be giving gifting them in the um, Buffalo check baskets uh, that are actually those collab collapsible storage um, baskets, but I'm going to use them as gift baskets. Um, I hold this blessed towel. I may have already hold that, but I needed more of them because they didn't have a lot when I went the first time. I did find the blessed um, pot holder. I bought a few of these. Very cute. I really like it. Um, I did find the Cherish and the Faith little plates, which I know that there's other words, but I didn't find them. And I was very upset. So I'm going to wait. I did pick up a cold cup. And uh, I actually realized later that this one has a little tiny little like a little damage, but it is what it is. I picked it up and it wasn't perfect. They had a ton, but somehow I managed to get the one that was messed up. It is what it is. I got these. They also say blessed. Very cute. You get two of them for $1. Um, I love, oh, and I'm drinking right now out of, th this is my favorite. And they have the removable, um, if you actually go to the video prior to the two videos, um, Gretchen and I did a video where we did a walkthrough in the store and I have footage of the other um, available colors and stuff. And I'm sure you might have seen other people haul them, but I absolutely love, 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 love that the print goes throughout the whole cup and then you have this on so you don't drop it or whatever. But I love this print. It says blessed and it has the bicycle and it's just so adorable. I love bicycle things. I am so into the bicycle. To me, the bicycle is the red truck to everybody else. When I see the bicycle, I get crazy happy. I just think it's the cutest thing to decorate with. Love it. Um, and uh, pick of the patch. So cute. It has the blue lettering with the green cap i just absolutely love it love it love it love the colors they picked this year i love these i just love them and i'm so sad that um i'm not going to be able to do like an actual thanksgiving event because i love to get um cases of these because you usually can buy these by the case uh i'm not sure if they're selling these by the case, but you usually can get them by the case. And I like to buy a couple of cases of cups, have them delivered to the store. And then when I'm doing an event, I like to get hot chocolate or hot coffee or hot drinks. And then I like for the people to be able to take this home with them after they've had their meal or whatever. It's nice to have something to go home with. I always have lots of giveaways, but things are different now and I don't think I'll be doing that. But maybe for the holidays at Christmas time, I'll still be able to. Who knows? Um, uh, this is another cup that they have. The Hello Fall cup is similar to this one. Even though they look so different, they're basically made the same way. They unscrew. Sometimes they leak. I'm not going to lie. You have to be really careful, and you can't put these in your dishwasher. If you put these in your dishwasher, they just they fall apart. So I hand wash them. I don't even put them on the top rack because... When I do somehow, they, I have a really good dishwasher and I swear that it just cooks these. But um, I think that they're so cute. And I did buy the fall truck one for the Hello Fall truck for one of the get baskets that I make. Not for me. It's just not my favorite. I love this one and this one are mine. Um, I did get another one. It says family so cute 
The buffalo check is just so cute. I just, I love this pattern that they made. I think, I think that people are going to love it. Um, I, I did get another blessed. I'm sorry. I just keep showing you the same towel over and over again. Okay, here it is. This one says family. So I got one that said family and one that said blessed. They did have cherished also, but it just so happens that all of the ones that said cherished were stitched so badly that it was like, like that. So I couldn't buy one and I really like the cherish, but couldn't find it. But, oh, I showed that already. That's the blessed. And then these, I don't know if somebody could tell me, cause I really don't know. Has Dollar Tree always sold these really cute colors of table runners? Please leave me a comment down below if you do know for sure. Oh, and I picked up a hot cup that says faith. Um, I think I have like even more of these. I kind of picked up everything, but I don't know where they are. Um, I did pick up another one of these. I pulled them the other day and I actually set up a really cute like olive oil, salt and pepper station um, with some of those jars that my friend Gretchen had given me in her friend mail. I, um, I was going to do like a DIY with them and then I decided that I'd like to simplify my life and I was like, they're made for oil and vinegar, Marina. Why are you going to complicate it? Just use them for that. And it's like a game changer. We have like oil, vinegar, salt, and pepper. I've always had like a pepper mill and my husband and my son like hate to use them and they're always breaking them and I'm always replacing them. And these like classic salt and pepper shakers, I never have them in my house, but I love them. They make life really simple. So I picked up a second one so I could have one in the kitchen and one here by the table. So yeah, I'm keeping it simple. I walked into the Dollar Tree the other day and I noticed that they had runners on display with their placemats because I did pick up, I picked up two of these placemats to go with the plate. Um, I bought one plate and one of the smaller ones that say gather and I think that I'm going to um, use them on top of the runner that I create. Somehow I'm going to use these as a runner or as an addition to the tablescape. I'm not sure, but I really like the print actually. And I like the colors, they're really intense. But um, where is that plate? Oh, it's gone. But anyway, I put it away. But I am gonna be doing something with that. But I've never seen these table runners. I do have footage that I'm adding in of the one that is current. Here is the mint green version of the table. They also had brown, which would be really cute for Thanksgiving, I think. I'm not sure, but for a dollar, I definitely picked it up because even if I don't use it this year, I will definitely for a dollar when I do parties for different shelters or Thanksgiving food giveaways or, you know, sometimes I get involved in giving out Thanksgiving meals or whatever, using something like this for only a dollar even if you throw it away when you're done who cares like it's a dollar it's the price of a plastic tablecloth you could put a plastic tablecloth down and put a couple of these on the table and put your chafing dishes on top and then when you're done just toss it in the garbage if you don't want to clean it or anything like that but still you're serving people and you're making them feel good because that's nice it's real i think it's really amazing for a dollar i've never seen them <laughs> that's all i'm saying um I 100% bought orange. I thought about getting more than one orange because I love it, but I only bought one because they didn't have a ton and I didn't want to be greedy. And for Christmas time, I bought a red and a green one because they're so nice. I mean, like, look at that. That is just gorgeous. I would want to put like a giant tassel on it and I probably will for the Christmas season, but a dollar, they're just wonderful and I just I'm thinking that um I may because I'm getting I'm actually getting a different table so I may use something like this in my tablescape for Thanksgiving and put these in it I don't know but I sorry I don't know but I just picked them up because for like 
two, four, six, seven dollars. I'm already using one and I know I'm going to find a way to use the rest of them. I like think they're really beautiful um, jacquard print. I don't know if you could wash them or I'm sure that if you wash them, they're 100% polyester. They're probably like the kind of thing that even if you get it dirty and you wash it, it probably comes out perfect. I have a funny feeling that these are indestructible. So I'm really glad that I got them. Um, I do have more stuff in this haul, believe it or not. So, and I think this might be the last of it. Why, yes, yes it is. This is amazing. This was the haul of all hauls. I did spend an insane amount of money. Um, so I had to pick these up, guys. They are so damn cute. Aren't these cute? I can't. I love them. Like, I literally do not need any more Halloween at all, but I just couldn't leave these there. They're like so, they make me happy to look at them. I used to have only Day of the Dead decor, and I've kind of moved away from that the last couple of years because it gets boring. But I mean, in honestly, in my attic, I have a huge box full of like everything that Michael's, Joe, every day of the dead thing ever i probably could sell it all to people that are obsessed with it but i'm not getting rid of it because i know me and i'm probably going to want to put it out again but maybe just a couple years from now either way this is my favorite halloween decor i love it and uh i couldn't i couldn't not buy these i just couldn't i had to buy them i might not even use them but i had to have them because i am a day of the dead hoarder i am when something is really nicely made like, these are really nicely made. I don't mind the glitter. I don't mind anything about them. They're perfect. They're just so adorable. I don't know what they're going to do, but I'm definitely glad I got them, and that's all I'm saying. Anyway, beware the Wicked Witch and all her little monsters live here. I do in my um, shopping with my friend Gretchen uh, at Dollar Tree video show the other ones that they had available, but I chose this one, and... Um, I really love it. And my little monsters are my son and my animals, I guess, because I don't have plural of children, but I thought about it for long and hard and I was like, I'm still going to get it. I don't care. And then I did pick up so one of the other items that I found was this felt garland with uh, uh, Dios de los Muertos. Um, I think that's how it's said. Day of the Dead. Um, sugar skulls uh, in multicolors. I don't think I'm going to leave it as a, gar a garland. I might pull them off and use them as coasters at Halloween time or I don't know, but maybe I'll put it outside as a garland. I don't know, but I picked it up because they're super cute. I could actually I did pick up this Wicked. Um, oh no. Does mine not work? Really? No. No way. Okay. Phew. Thank you. Um, so this, can you guys see that it's changing color? Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. But um, I picked out this one. There are others. I'm sure you've seen them in the halls, um, other in other people's halls, but I just really liked this wicked one. I love the, you know, the wood cutout of the witch and I just, I love it. I love that it's purple. I, uh, I also love that you can pull this right out and replace it with a battery operated timed color changing one, which I've already order, ordered from Amazon. They're only a couple of bucks and I like to do that with everything. The lanterns that Dollar Tree sells, the little outdoor lanterns, I replaced all of those candles inside also with battery operated water resistant ones and they live outside of my house year round and they come on every night and they bring me nothing but joy but um you know i'll use this up of course until it dies or i'll pull it out and put it oop, i dropped it uh i didn't break it though i'll pull it out and put it in maybe something else that i can remember to put on but i want this to come on every day in the halloween decor piece that i'm making it will be a tear tray um, one of the other items that I found that I actually could not leave behind is this home sweet haunted home sign. I think it's super cute. 
it's going to be really nice in my Halloween, you know, kind of decor. And um, yeah, I really like that one. I like the, the shape of it. It's very unique and fun. East in my super long two day haul, I found the PS de resistance for real when it comes to Halloween. This was, I didn't think I was ever gonna find them, so I had given up, but I found all of these beauties and I love them. Like, I mean, like, I love these. I actually have a huge one in my backyard because a few years ago, they had bottles with corks in them, but I don't think they were for Halloween. And I picked them up and I broke them all, but I have a teal one still in my backyard. So they made them smaller, obviously, than the one that I got a few years ago. And um, they do have these stickers on them. The green one says unfiltered poison. The um, orange one says zombie brew. The beautiful magenta one says witch's brew. And the blue, dark blue, beautiful, beautiful colored one says wool of wool of bat magic we i love it i know that um some people do not like halloween because it's like i don't know what whatever there are people out there that think that halloween is like bad i love halloween and uh i just cannot tell you guys like i hold this a long time ago i brought it out to tell you how I can't handle how much I love these items together in the world in Dollar Tree. Like these five dollars, one, two, three, four, five dollars bring me sheer joy. This is why I am a Dollar Tree addict. Like what? Five bucks. And look at the happiness that this brings. Like. Welcome to these awesome purchases that have brought me so much joy that I found that I can't believe I found and I was so happy when I found it. Anyway, so here's a suggestion to some of you out there. Now, if you're like a true Dollar Tree addict, you know that next year they'll probably come out with this again, but you're going to need to do something with these for the rest of the year. I'm so not going to leave them like this. I'm going to use them for Halloween love them and then i'm gonna flip them over because i just love them i love them so much that i'm gonna flip them over i'm gonna take this cork out and i've already ordered off of amazon and if anybody wants to know maybe i'll put a link up or however you guys do that but they're like 10 bucks for i think five um of solar powered they're like lights that go inside of the jar and then there's a cork and you close it up. I have one outside in my backyard in the teal one, but I'm going to leave these in my window and I'm just going to let the, nobody is in my backyard to see the other end of this. I'm the only one that goes in my backyard. So I'll see this part all year round and then I can take them out and use them again during Halloween, but I don't ever want to put these away. I like want to look at these every day. I love, I love them. And they'll light up at night because they get charged in the window and they'll light up in the beautiful colors every night. And they will be the cutest, most happy moment in my kitchen. Every night when I get up to get a drink, I'm going to see these rainbow colored glass jars in my window. And I think that's the best four bucks I've spent at Dollar Tree in a really long time because they're going to give me joy every single day. So, you know... You got to go out there and hunt out what you see on the YouTube channel. I mean, I have a ton of things in front of me, a ton of things over there. It's a two-day haul. Hundred, I spent hundreds of dollars. But most of the things that are in my haul are not even for me. This this was the universe saying, good, keep up the good work. Yay for you. And I just want to say how blessed I feel to have found these and to be able to do this uh, YouTube 
video and to be able to know that I have over 500 subscribers right now. I have like 500 something subscribers and invite anybody that's out there that is enjoying my videos to please subscribe to my channel so that we can get to 600 subscribers and I can give away a $30 gift card and whatever else ends up in the box. I'm not sure yet, but I know that it's a Halloween um, craft book. So I would love to be able to get that out before Halloween happens, obviously. And, you know, I don't know what else is going to go in the box, honestly, because I'm giving a $30 gift card and because I really just don't know what people would like, but maybe I'll include some of the flower makeup. I do have some things. Definitely there's going to be a $30 gift card and a really awesome Halloween book, but Please subscribe to the channel so that you can be um, in the contest when it happens. And i um, going to be putting up the rest of the, like I have to get like a date that I'm going to end the um, contest, which I'm thinking will probably be a week before Halloween so that, or maybe, I think I'm going to go for mid-October. I think that makes sense. Uh, if anybody else out there has any interest or input on how I should do it, feel free to leave me a comment. I'm open, I'm open to, you know, all the suggestions. I've never done this before, so I would like to give the Halloween book away. So I want to give people a good enough time frame to enter in the contest and, you know, subscribe. But the giveaway is supposed to be for 600 subscribers. So I'm being really optimistic and believing that I'm going to get another 100 subscribers before Halloween. That's my goal. So let's make it happen, guys. Either way, there will be a $30 gift card because it's possible that I won't have it by Halloween and no one's going to want a Halloween book after Halloween. So that's the long and short of it. I'm not really sure, but if you guys have any suggestions, please give them to me so that I can be more organized in the whole contest situation. Anyway, um, thank you all for being here with me and sharing my shopping um, stuff with me. And I just want to say thank you again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And stay safe and stay savvy. Bye-bye.